Introduction You accompany your mother to the market. She wants to buy a bottle of ketchup whose price is rupees 52.95. She wants to buy juice whose price is rupees 87.50 and pickles whose price is rupees 32.50. Do you see that all the prices are decimal numbers? How much money should your mother pay to the shopkeeper? To find that out, you need to add the three decimal numbers. In this lesson, you will learn to add and subtract decimal numbers and understand their application in real life. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Use decimals to represent money Use decimals to represent length Use decimals to represent weight Add two decimal numbers Subtract one decimal number from another Money can be represented using decimal notation It is common knowledge that 100 passe are equal to 1 rupee. It means 1 passe is equal to 1 hundredth of a rupee. We are aware that 1 hundredth can be written as 0 0.01 in decimal notation. Let us now use the decimal notation to write 435 passe. 435 passe may be split as 400 passe and 35 passe. 400 passe are equal to rupees 4. 35 passe are equal to 35 upon 100 rupees, that is 0.35. So, 435 passe are equal to rupees 4.35. Similarly, length can also be expressed in decimals. We know that 100 centimeters are equal to 1 meter. It means 1 centimeter is equal to 1 hundredth of a meter. Let us use the decimal notation to write 925 centimeters. 925 centimeters may be split as 900 centimeters and 25 centimeters. 900 centimeters are equal to 9 meters. 25 centimeters are equal to 25 upon 100 meters, that is 0.25. So, 925 centimeters are equal to 9.25 meters. Weights can also be represented with the help of decimals. Let us convert 4250 grams into kilograms. There are 4 kilograms and 250 grams in 4,250 grams. Therefore, 4,250 grams are equal to 4.250 kilogram. Let us convert money expressed in passe into rupees and passe using decimals. Express 2,375 in rupees and passe using decimals. 2,375 passe equal 2,300 passe plus 75 passe which is the same as 23 rupees plus 75 passe. This can be expressed as 23 rupees plus 75 upon 100 rupees. So the answer is rupees 23.75. Let us convert a weight expressed in grams into kilograms and grams using decimals. Express 7525 grams as kilograms and grams using decimals. 7525 grams are equal to 7500 gram plus 25 gram which is the same as 7.5 kilogram plus 25 grams. This can be expressed as 7.5 kg plus 25 upon 1000 kg. Therefore, 
7525 grams are equal to 7.525 kg. Addition of decimals is similar to addition of any other numbers. Write the given numerals one below the other with the decimal points in a vertical line. First add the digits after the decimal point starting with the rightmost digit. Once that is done, if there is any carry over from the decimal side, it is carried over to the integer sign. Let us start with the addition of 293.72 and 602.27. Place the digits according to their place value in the table above. Add the numbers as done for ordinary addition. Place the point before two digits from right-hand side. Let us now try to solve 7.35 plus 8 plus 45.4. Solution 7.35, 45.4 and 8 are unlike decimals. They need to be converted into like decimals. Write 45.4 as 45.40 and 8 as 8.00. Now add the numbers in vertical format. We get the result of this addition as 60.75. Subtraction of decimals is similar to subtraction of any other numbers. Write the bigger number on top and the smaller number below it with decimal point in a vertical line. Subtract as for whole numbers, placing the decimal point in the result directly under the other decimal points. Let us start with subtraction of 439.32 from 869.79. Place the digits according to their place value in the table above. Subtract the numbers as in ordinary subtraction. 56.354 and 896.24 are unlike decimals. They must be converted into like decimals first. Only then, the subtraction operation can be undertaken. 56.354 has three decimal places, whereas 896.24 has two. So, 896.24 must be written as 896.240. Now let us perform the subtraction. It is time to check your understanding. Drag and drop the correct option in the respective box. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Decimals can be used to represent money. 100 paise is equal to rupee 1. Therefore, 1 paise is equal to rupee 1 upon 100, which equals rupee 0 0.01. Decimals can be used to represent length. 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter. Therefore, 1 centimeter is equal to 1 upon 100 meter, which equals 0 0.01 meter. Decimals can be used to represent weight. 1000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram. Therefore, 1 gram is equal to 1 upon 1000 kilogram, which equals 0 0.001 kilogram. Addition and subtraction of decimals is performed after converting them into like decimals.